Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss output function in Python. Before start today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. Different ways of creating program files using VS Code. How to work with a terminal in VS Code. How to execute Python code using terminal. How to add extensions to VS Code. We covered each and every point clearly in the lecture 18. If you haven't watched that, please watch that for the better understanding of this video. The link is given in the description box. After watching this video, you will be able to know basic syntax of print function about end attribute of print function, separate attribute of print function, how to use escape sequences slash n and slash t with print function, repetition operator and joining operator, how to print variable value along with the string with print function. We will cover each and every point along with the example. Don't skip the video to understand each and every point. Before starts discussion about the output function, let us try to understand what is input, what is output related to our programs. When you are trying to execute a program, sometimes you may need to receive the data at the time of the execution of your program. With the help of the keyboard, user may enter some data. You need to store that data into the variables. To store this data into the variables, generally we use input functions. In Python, the input function is input. We will discuss about input function in coming videos. After storing the data into the variable or variables, according to our logic, our program will be executed and finally the result will be generated. If you want to print that generated result on the screen, we need to use output function. In Python, the output function is print. In this video, we are going to cover output function that is print. We use the inbuilt function print to send the data to the standard output device. Generally, the standard output device is a screen or the monitor. In simple words, the print inbuilt function is used to display some data on the monitor. Sometimes if you want to store the data in another file also, we can do that with the help of the print function. We can use print function in different formats. We will start our discussion with the basic syntax. This is the basic syntax of the print function. Print within the parentheses, within the single quotes, or you may use double quotes, two are valid in Python. And you need to write some text, what you want to display on the screen. See the example, suppose I want to print hello world on the monitor. So in this case, we need to write the text within the single quote, within the parenthesis of print function. So within the parenthesis, as we discussed, single quotes or double quotes, Two are valid. See this code. Now I want to print some text as a result of this program. See in the fourth statement, I used double quotes. I want to print welcome to Python. And coming to seventh statement, I want to print the same text, but in this case, I am using single quotes. Two are valid. Let us try to execute this. Now see the output. Welcome to Python, welcome to Python. So single quotes and double quotes, two are valid. Now see this code. In this code, we have three print statements. Hello, viewers, how are you? If you execute this program, you can observe in the output. Hello is displayed in one line and viewers is displayed in the next line. And how are you also will be displayed in the another line. So here important point is the print function 
has an attribute called end. By default, the end value is slash n backslash n. The slash n is used to create the new line. The end value of print is by default slash n. So after printing the text, the cursor is moved to the next line. Then the next print statement will be executed. After that, end value will be executed. By default, the end attribute value is backslash n. That is the reason every time the text will be displayed in the new line. Suppose if you want to print the results of the three print statements in a single line, you can change the end attribute value. Observe this print hello. Here I am changing the value of end property. What is the value I assign here? Just see single quote, single quote. Even I am not assigning space also. Empty. Okay. So in such cases, the end attribute value is empty. So if you execute this program, hello viewers, how are you? All the results of the three print statements are displayed in a single line. Because here explicitly we are changing the end attribute value as empty. Slash n, slash t, these are called escape sequences. Not only these, we have other sequence characters also. We will discuss it later. So backslash n is used to create the new line. In the same way, slash t is used to create a tab space. Now, if you use these escape sequences in the print statement, a new line is created when slash n is being executed and a tab space is created where you use backslash t. Execute it. Now see, hello, after printing the hello, the friend will be printed in the next line because we have written here slash n. After printing the friend, how are you also will be displayed in the next line because before that we created a new line. Now coming to this statement, first hello will be displayed. After you can observe a tab space is created because slash t means it creates a tab space. After friend also we have written tab. So a tab space is created. If you want to highlight any text with single quotes or double quotes, we can do that with help of the print statement. Suppose I want to print the text hello. Welcome to Python course. But I want to highlight welcome with single quote. In such cases, you can start the print statement with double quotes and that should be ends with double quotes. But for the highlighted text, you can use single quotes like this. For the highlighted text, if you want to use double quotes, write double quotes for that text. And for the remaining text, you need to use single quotes. Execute this. Now see, hello, welcome within the single quotes to python quotes. In the second statement, hello, welcome in the double quotes to the python quotes. If we use single quote here, that will raise an error. Because the PVM get confused, which single quote is starting point, which single quote is ending point. That is the reason. If you want to highlight a string with single quotes, we need to include the total string with double quotes. And if you want to highlight any text with double quotes, the complete string must be enclosed within the single quote. Now, we can use star operator as a repetition operator also. See this example. Suppose if you want to print Python four times, you can write that string value star 4 that will be printed four times generally we cannot multiply the string value with a number that is invalid but here the meaning is star indicates repetition not multiplication operator if you use two numbers with star in such cases star can be called as multiplication operator print 4 into 2 in this case we are using two numbers so in such cases, the star is acting as a multiplication operator. But when we use one string value, one number, in this case, the star is 
called repetition operator. Now let us execute this. See python 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 python. Four times the given string will be displayed. The result of the third statement is 8. When you use plus symbol with two numbers, the plus symbol is called addition operator in that case. But if you use same operator plus along with two string values, in such cases, the plus symbol is called concatenation operator or joining operator. So one string is hello, concatenate with how are you, execute it. Now you can observe hello, how are you. Now see one more example. We have seen how to print a string value with the help of the print function. If you want to print a variable value, how to print with the help of the print function. See, I am assigning some value to a variable number 1. Now I want to print the value of the number 1. Print that variable value. So we will get the number 1 value. Next, if you want to print two variable values by using single print, in such cases you need to write the statement like print within the parenthesis two variables separated by comma. If you want to print three variable values by using the single print, you can write three variable names separated by comma. Execute it. Now see 10. 10 is the result of this third statement and result of this seventh statement is 10 space 20. Now very important point, we are not giving the space between number 1 and number 2 in the seventh statement. Even though we are getting space between 10 and 20 or between number 1 value and number 2 value. Why we are getting the space here? The reason is we have one more important attribute for the print function is separator SEP. By default, the separator value is space. That is the reason if you want to print variables values, those values are separated with space. If you want to change that separator, you can do that with the help of the attribute separator SEP. See, I created a variable and assigning 10, one more variable number 2, we are assigning the value 20. Now I want to print number 1 and number 2 values. In the statement 5, I want to separate those two values with comma and whenever we are trying to print these two values, I want to separate those two values with colon. You need to write what is the separator within a single quote or within a double quote, so you can write that character or characters. Suppose I want to use this many hash symbols as a separator between these two values. Execute this. See now 10, 20. Number 1 value is printed that is 10 and after that the separator is comma. So here the comma is printed after number 2 value is printed. And the result of the sixth statement is number 1 value is printed. In this case, the separator is column. So, here the column is printed and number 2 value is printed. Coming to the seventh statement, number 1 value is printed first, 10. In this case, the separator is this one. So, those hash symbols are printed as a separator. And next, number 2 variable value is printed. Like this, you can change the separator. By default, the separator is space. As of now, we have seen how to print a string value, how to print a variable value. But now, I want to print a variable value along with the string in a single statement. How to do that? Very simple. See, created a number storing the value 10. Now I want to print the value of number 1 is. I want to print as it is this text. After this text, I want to print the value of number 1. For this, we need to write the complete text. What you want to print along with that value, you need to write within the double quote or single quote. Comma, comma is compulsory. After that, you need to write the variable name. Otherwise, you can write like this also. Number 1. 
number one variable value will be printed comma whatever you have written that will be printed as this if you are writing anything without double quote that should be a variable name so in such cases in place of the variable name the value of the variable will be printed as an output so the fifth statement output will be 10 is even number because in place of number one the value of that variable will be printed now if you observe seventh statement within the double quotes you stored so that will be printed as this comma number one this is a variable because we are not writing any double quotes or single quotes we have the value 10 within the number one that will be printed here and within the double quotes again we are writing in variable number one so finally the output of the seventh statement is you stored 10 in variable number one that will be printed execute this see the value of number one is 10 this is the output of this fourth statement and next 10 is even number this is the output of fifth statement and you stored 10 in variable number one so this is the result of seventh statement Check your knowledge, what you learnt from this video, what is the basic syntax of print function, what is end attribute and we discussed about separator attribute, how to use slash n and slash t escape sequences within the print function, what is repetition operator and joining operator how to print variable value or variable values along with a string. If this video is useful to you, do subscribe the channel, watch and share the videos. Thank you.